Okay, brief little update. Sahikon's uh, bid for Wembley has been withdrawn. He has pulled the plug on his, his attempted purchase of Wembley. Uh, and this has come out of the blue. Yes, there's been criticisms and, and a lot of scrutiny on the bid. And not just me, but a load of YouTubers have, have, have been following this story. Independent journalists, you know, the mainstream media, fan groups. It's been a well-followed story the whole summer. For some reason, and for unknown reasons at this time, although we can speculate, and speculation is dangerous, he's pulled the plug on the bid. He doesn't want to take it any further. Which is highly surprising, because th at this point he would have spent a lot of money on legal fees and, and other advisory fees uh, just to get to this point. Um, PR, HR, you name it. It actually would have cost a lot of money throughout this process. A bidding process is not done for free. It costs money just to get to the table. So he's invested a lot of time and money already in this bid. It'll be interesting to see his reasoning why he's decided not to continue further. Now, before I finish here, last week corruption allegations um, were labelled at him and the bid team. And also something to do with the ownership of Fulham. There was corruption. Hey, let's put the C word out there. Let's, let's throw a corruption allegation out there. Which had been made last year before the bid was made public. So that's obviously been an ongoing undercurrent. Now, even so... The sounds and noises coming out of Sahih Khan's camp were mostly positive and were, were geared towards we're going to be prepared to, when we take over Wembley, you know, continue with the process. The FA Council hadn't even voted at this point. This is what surprises me. But the hostility from within the FA, and the FA was a divided house, which doesn't help. They weren't singing from the same hymn sheet. The FA board and the FA Council were at loggerheads. So that was a problem. There were other scrutinies of the bid, which we've discussed in previous videos. But he has pulled the plug at the last minute. We will find out in time why. We'll hear statements from Sahih Khan, no doubt. We'll hear statements from the FA, no doubt. And there will also be others who will release statements over time that were involved in the process. The FA Council will probably, at some point, release a statement as well, because they weren't even given a chance to vote. They had gone away to talk to their own members to then come back and then have a vote next week. Um, so we'll have to see what the FA Council has to say, we'll have to see what the FA Board has to say, and we have to see what Sahid Khan and his team have to say before we can pass any judgement. But I can't help thinking that those corruption allegations might have been the final spanner in the works. There were so many you know, controversies about the bid, um, and, and I don't think the PR machine had worked very well. People weren't buying what was being told with what the, the bid outcome would be, which would be grassroots football. Um, and a stadium that would still have England games at it and a variety of other things. No one was really sold on what was being told. So um, there were a lot of questions that were left unanswered. And this is yet another one. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll see what happens uh, long term. We'll see um, why the bid was withdrawn. But it would have cost Sahih Khan a lot of money just to get to this point. So something serious must have happened for him to suddenly go, no, I don't want to continue with this. Even though everything he's been saying the entire summer has been pro-sale, pro-purchase, getting his hands on Wembley. And for him to suddenly pull the plug, something really serious must have happened or occurred within the bid process for this to happen. And we shall see in due course what is going to happen. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below and I'll have some more videos, hopefully tech withstanding, for you soon.